Hello, I'm Bill Lederis. I'm the Content Director for the Mobile Enterprise 360 Community. And I'm joined today by Yasser Rashid, who is Director of Architecture and CTO of the Business Client Platform Division at Intel. Yasser, thank you very much for being my guest here today. Hi, Bill. And thank you for, uh, for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. Yes, to tell us a little bit about what this role involves at Intel and whether or not it puts you in direct contact with some of your customers these days. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, for my role as the CTO and Director of Architecture of the Business uh, Client Platforms Division at Intel, uh, first, this is a division that looks after uh, delivering solutions and platforms for the commercial space uh, that covers uh, PCs, whether it's notebooks or desktops, uh, uh, to tablets, to uh, smartphones as well. The uh, the role uh, I, I play two roles. One is uh, is more internal, and that is to drive the technical roadmap for Intel's platforms and technologies in the commercial space. And uh, the second part of the role is uh, is more external to drive uh, innovation and partnerships with uh, with the ecosystem partners uh, across the entire industry to bring the best um, uh, you know security, manageability, and productivity solutions uh, and the best end user experiences. You know, we've done a lot of research into mobility here at IBG, and across the board, when we ask uh, uh, IT leaders, you know, what their expectations are, business leaders too, for that matter, what their expectations are for the prodigious, prodigious investments they're making in mobility, it comes down to end user productivity. Do you see much of a relationship, or maybe I should ask, what is the relationship between desktop right. virtualization and mobile productivity? You know, this is a great question, uh, Bill. So, so let me uh, maybe uh, take a step back here and and uh, and uh, look at it more holistically. For any IT organization to deploy a solution, right, they need to uh, take a step back and look at what are the requirements. Uh, the requirements may include mobility, which uh, nowadays uh, plays a a great role, right? Mobility, um, uh, offline access to to content and and data. Uh, security, manageability, and user productivity, these are all requirements that factor in when, when they choose what, what solutions uh, to, to deploy. Um, from the Intel point of view, we believe um, that the, uh, this um, uh, solution needs to be uh, delivered in a holistic way. We refer to that vision as the Intelligent Desktop Virtualization, or IDV. Uh, we believe that this is the uh, the best delivering the best infrastructure that allows end users and IT alike to get the best benefits. The benefits are, are really threefold here. The first one is um, uh, really looking at it from a um, from a productivity perspective and end user experience, delivering the best end user experience uh, through local compute, uh, bringing the computation and, and the rich visualization capabilities uh, down to the endpoint. The other part of it is giving IT better control and better manageability and security through centralization of the image or the really reduction of the number of images that they have to manage and secure on a daily basis. Now, in the end, it is uh, delivering the best end user experience with the best IT management and control. The third benefit here is really from a total cost of ownership perspective. So reducing the total cost of ownership while delivering that uh, value to IT and to end users. Um, and this is achieved by reducing the infrastructure build, build up in the data center to, uh, for example, in, in other scenarios where you move the computation to the, to the server, that in, in increases the, uh, the cost and the uh, infrastructure complexity as well. Um, Citrix, which I know is one of your parts, has, has worked very hard to put itself at the, pretty much at the top of the heap when it comes to desktop virtualization. Talk about your partnership, uh, Intel's partnership with uh, with Citrix, and and how it's helping to deliver this anytime, any place, on any device work experience that end users really really want these days. Right. So uh, Intel and Citrix have been uh, partnering together for a number of years to deliver uh, solutions uh, in this space, in the desktop virtualization space. So we've, uh, we've uh, delivered solutions uh, together that uh, improve uh, security and manageability without compromising the end user experience. Uh, the, uh, the flagship uh, product here is Citrix's uh, Zen Client uh, product that is optimized for Intel vPro platform. And, and together with the Zen Client uh, running on vPro, we delivered solutions that uh, are now deployed, uh, for example, with the uh, United States uh, government uh, AFRL or the Air Force Research Lab, 
Uh, we also have deployments in Europe uh, with uh, Swisscom IT, one of the lead ICOs uh, in, in that space. So when you look at those deployments and the learnings that we've got so far, um, we, we believe that uh, you know, Zen clients running on vPro, Intel vPro platforms is really ready for prime time. And we're excited about the opportunities that we can bring to the market in this space. Mm -hmm. And of course, with the uh, kind of explosive growth in mobile, it's uh, good to have that kind of partnership helping to solve so many of these problems. Uh, yeah, sir, Rashid, thank you very much, our Director of, Art, of Architecture at uh, CTO of the Business Client Platforms Division. Thank you very much for being a guest there today. Thank you, Bill. And I'm Bill Averis from IDG saying thank you very much for joining us here today as well.